All right, time for the kitties in the other room, especially the young ones. We are still talking about sex. Of course, Kim Switnicki, sex coach Linus for Lovers, has decided to stick around because we've just been receiving so many emails from all of you out there. We're trying to spice up your love life, so thanks for sending those in. All right, Kim, so we received an email. This one's from a guy mm -hmm. who wanted to be anonymous, who said, uh, me and my girlfriend have been together for eight years now, and it seems like sex has almost become a chore. There's nothing new, just the same old, same old. We need some advice on what to do. We need help. Please, any advice would be great. Yes, again, another very, very common issue. And because the love drugs wear off uh, after about 15 to 24 months, so you're going to naturally get into a potential rut. And something really simple is just changing the location of where you're having sex, whether it be even a different part of the bed, on the floor in the bedroom, perhaps a couch, using a chair, other parts of, of the house. Really exciting. That's even, even why people, when they're on vacation, all of a sudden they have this renewal, right? Same idea. It's just a different spot. Excellent. You're doing the same thing. And and you can also experiment with angles and positions of your body. Even moving your leg three or four inches can make a major difference to Excellent. what's going on. Some great tips. And kissing. Get into to making out. We love to make out and we tend, after eight years, we're not doing it as much. Don't so, you think more women are into that than the guys? I find the guys could totally surprised. skip that. You'd be surprised because they know that you get your whole body into it, okay. not just not just the lips. Great. We got a, another uh, email from uh, someone in Coquitlam, and this is a real short one, and uh, just wants to know, does size matter? Let's put it out there. You know, it really is. If your woman is saying, oh, everything is great, everything is great, believe just it. believe her. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent. So, guys, quit worrying so much about that. That's the tip from here. Yeah. All right, we got an email from Frustrated who says that uh, she and her boyfriend had been together for three years. They never, ever did really have the greatest sex life. Uh, mm -hmm. She has talked to him, but nothing ever changes. She feels she always has to initiate, and she's made the comment that she feels like the man in the relationship. She can't figure out what to do uh, to up the level of sex in their relationship. The boyfriend doesn't know what he can do either. She's fairly adventurous, though. Mm -hmm. He's quite shy. Mm -hmm. She tries to make him feel comfortable, but nothing really changes. So minimal, monotonous sex. Okay, well, the first thing is discover what you want because the, she seems to be focusing a little bit on him, which is great to include him, but figure out what really works for you. And maybe it's reading some erotica or looking at some adult movies to see what might spice things up for you and share that in your relationship. And you can also try seeing if he will write a sexy letter and maybe there's a different format instead of words or you can try it with a blindfold is really useful is whispering what would you like me to do next and what can I do for you next and maybe that will let him start in the heat of the moment to get some of those things out that he really wants. Does the blindfold sort of take away the you know the, the inhibitions? inhibitions? Okay. Absolutely. Even if she wore the blindfold she would be able to then maybe ask questions she okay. couldn't have asked before Great. and he knows that she's not looking at him so he'll feel so a, lot a little less too. than if he's shy than that yes. helps him out. Okay we got one from Cynthia who said uh, she used to be married and then she got divorced. Now she has a boyfriend and he always asked me to have sex but it just feels wrong because she and her ex-husband had sex every week and her and her boyfriend haven't really had it uh, once so she's unsure she just wants some advice. Right. Uh, the first thing is never do anything you don't want to do. Um, that's number one for me. So she's doing the right thing by by saying okay I'm concerned so yes don't do what you don't want to do and learn about self-pleasure for yourself and also that's a great thing to do together. You don't have to necessarily have intercourse to have a lot of intimacy so you can learn to self-pleasure whether it's one of you or both of you at the same time that can really make a difference to be that next step before you go all the way. Excellent. Great advice for Cynthia. Uh, we have Genevieve who is in our uh, one of our producers mm -hmm. here and she has a question. Genevieve? Yep. Um, hey Kim. Um, so it seems like in popular culture you always see the woman withholding sex from the man as punishment and I'm just wondering what's the point of that and what does it do to a relationship if you're using it as a punishment? It really impacts the relationship negatively and sex is something that you shouldn't deprive yourself of. And if you're depriving yourself of it, it, you're really ripping yourself off. And so it's it's not something that should ever be used as a weapon. And it can be really dangerous and it affects other areas of your relationship as well. So keeping the communication opening and then just have that be a, that loving part of your relationship where you actually stay together, get together, and, and be intimate together, and don't use that. Because okay, that'll then, actually help. But then the flip side, there's the weapon, but then there's the bartering. Yeah, either I, way. Yeah, I don't agree with that okay. either. It's it. There shouldn't be anything ever attached to it. If we want to do it, let's do it. If we don't want to do it, we don't do it. 
But don't ever let it be criteria it's not money. for it's something not else. Cash, no, people. It's not, not something to be used as bartering. There no. you go. Thanks, Genevieve, for that. And thank you so much, Kim. Some oh, great welcome. advice. And obviously, people, for more information, go to uh, lionessforlovers.com. Uh, Kim, you are a sex coach. So for anyone that has questions, as individuals or couples, mm -hmm. you're Absolutely. willing to help. Yes, and, and women primarily, because it only takes one to make a difference for your sexual relationship. Excellent. And you have offered up a prize pack. So this is great. It's worth 170 bucks. We're mm -hmm. keeping things spicy for everyone at home. Just drop us an email, win at citytv.com, subject lioness for lovers. Kim, some great ideas to help our viewers out. So here's to better sex for everyone. Stay with us, you're Thanks. watching VT.